Okay people, here we are, we're out once again. It's been a wee while, busy with other things like. Uh, so I had to get back to the fishing. I need to get out. There's a few people told me that one. <laughs> but uh, here we are. Uh, we're just back at Riverside. Uh, it's about half past ten I think. Uh, low tide is uh, about quarter to twelve. It's night time you'll have noticed. I'm fishing uh, something I've not done. Uh, I think I may have done it once before but I don't think I've done a video of it. Fishing right through the night till the early hours of the morning. Till about six o'clock or so. Uh, I was wanting to go out this morning but um, I was up all night. I work constant night shifts, sometimes I have trouble get, get, getting to sleep at night, so I was up most of the night, fell asleep early hours of the morning, woke up far too late to catch the tide and that, so... Oh, the big heron just landed down there. Hello. Hey. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got up too late to fish the, to, during the day. It was a lovely day as well. So, I've come out at night. At home, there's no wind, there's not a spot, and then I come down here and the wind's blowing through the east, sort of blowing across the way, so I hope that isn't interfering with the film. If it does, I will just have to voice it over. Aye. And say it may rain later on tonight, but it's, it's cloudy and there is water blowing through, so hopefully we'll get a dry night of it. I put a hope to catch tonight. Well, since it's dark and it's nearly winter, it's nearly cod time. I'm expecting to catch a few wee small cod out of there. I've had them up to three pound out of here, like, but because uh, the trench further out, if you can get far enough out of it and fish in it, you can get fish. It actually starts about 20 yards further down and it's at 80 yards out. Or 90 yards out. I know it's the length of the, the harbour out. So there's a deep trench out there. I don't know why where it come from but it's there. It shows up on the maps. Well the ones I've seen anyway. They're kind of old maps right enough. But uh, yeah. So we're hoping for uh, maybe coddling. Uh, flatties. There's been a few flatties caught over and out of the past couple of weeks. Uh, there's a couple of guys up from Brighton. Hi, if you're watching this video, uh, they caught quite a few fish when they were up, and uh, they normally come up every now and again uh, to come and fish up here, like. So they caught quite a few, and there was a competition. <coughs> uh, I think it was a group from Glasgow were up, uh, were over, and they were fishing further up river in a competition, and they caught quite a few flounders, quite a lot of undersized ones, I must admit. But I don't know what the size limit on their competition was, so they caught quite a lot anyway. Nay, it was a trophy for the kind of mind the biggest fish or biggest catch. But anyway, it was a shared trophy in the end, a uh, total draw. So, that was. I've been asked to fish in a, a competition, I think it may be the same group, uh, at the river in uh, the middle of November, so. I better practice it. Eh? Every time I try and get, come in a competition in the tea, I, I, I seem to lose. I mean, this is my my pond. I you know this place like the back of my hand. Yeah, I still can't catch fish when it comes to competitions. Ah, unlucky as, as hell. Right, so, bait wise, I've got black lug. I was always under the impression that came. Well, it's frozen black lug. I was always under impression it came individually wrapped and then real wrapped in a, a paper. This didn't come in just a batch inside a sheet of polythene. I'm not going to see where I get my bait, but uh, I think most of you know. Uh, <laughs> and we've got bluey. Yeah, I had to order all of the bait because it was really short of it. And we've got mackerel. There we go, we've got some squid. Just in case we can entice something half decent. 
as I said, I've had three pink cod out here before, so... What the hell? If all else fails... We've got slugs. <laughs> I've never tried them before, but hey, anything's worth a go if you can't catch fish. <laughs> That's good life bait that comes to you. I love that. What's the one worm and drag worm would do that? But uh, yeah. That's That's basically it. A gear I'm using the said Sonic's 14 footers. A Abu 6500 rockets. Uh, hook wise, it's two hook Paternoster size 10 hooks. My, my non, normal run of the mill, sorry, we've gone blind with this. A normal run of the mill stuff for beaches and that like, so we'll see what happens. And a as I say, it's still got, still got about an hour and a half for the time to go out, so plenty of time yet. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a wee look around, but there's not a lot to see, because where I am, you're actually in a corner, there's not much to see. And we've even started putting signs in the middle of the path, so you can't see right of the path either. There's a the rain. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see if we can keep the camera dry as well when it comes to it. I've lost one camera through rain and water getting into it, so... I don't want to lose another one. Right, let's shut up and get fishing it. Eh? Right, so that's us baited up. Is that at least the one? No. That's us baited up and we'll get cast out. I've moved up camera, damn it. Hey. Must be something going on. Got police running about waiting for people. But uh, not to worry. Right, well, as I say, we're baited up. We'll get cast out and see what we can get. Apart from a cold, and I'll get some coffee. Right, that's us in the water. Time to sit, get a coffee, get a cigarette, and just we'll watch the fishes biting.
maybe small. But it's a flounder and the tide's on its way in now. It ain't big, but it's a little codling. Put that wee cuddling in the water like that. Another flounder. A little bit bigger this time. Hey, things are looking up. Realised I've not, not done a walk now. I, I look around. Well, let's see. Well, it is kind of dark. out of focus actually. I don't know if it's me or not. But uh, anyway, all the way up there you can see that's Riverside Drive, the pathway goes all the way up to the Tayro Rail Bridge, which you can't see at the moment. There's a hotel over there. This is back of Discovery Point. There's a car park over there by the hotel. They paid to park in that one. Back end of Discovery Point. Oh, sorry. The building alongside there. That's the, the railway station. That building there is a fantastic office block. It was built and nobody's moved into it. It's still empty. They say they've got people, but I don't know. Uh, and there you go. You can see the ship at night. Well, you can't actually. Not a lot of it. This looks blurred. This camera had hit the deck twice a night. Uh, because the wind picked up a bit earlier on and uh, I heard the bang and the camera went over and it's twice has went down so bear with me on this because I think this will be the last time this camera is getting used and the VNA they must have some electric bill in there because that's on all night that the cafe lights up there and some of the lights all through the building 24 hours a day I wouldn't like that electric bill down there, you can see the t the, the road bridge has all the wee lights. I should wear my glasses so I can actually see what I'm looking at. <laughs> at the back of which you can see the, the oil rigs, etc. The lights are way down there, the, the wee orange lights, that's leading away down to Broughty Ferry, way down the bottom there. The Tay Road Bridge. Way down on the right hand side around the corner is Dayport. Uh, and there we go. Any of you boating people will understand what those lights are for on the bridge. 
something to do with sailing through them. <laughs> it's not sailing at them, sailing through them. Across there is uh, Newport on Tay. I wish it was low tide on a right calm day. You see some wonderful effects with the lights on the water. That's Newport on Tay going to a. Uh, Balmarino, etc. No, no, Balmarino. God, me. Yep. See a wee set of lights out in the countryside out there. I'm not sure what town that is. It looks like a road is marked out, so whether it's a one, it's a one road town. <laughs> I like to see in the cowboy films, it's a one horse town. And there we are, back again. Where's my rods? They're there somewhere. I can't see them. They're there. I wish I had my glasses on. But... Yeah, there was coddling about. Two little ones. That's not bad. It's fish anyway. Here we go. There's a nice, nice wee flounder. <laughs> well, that's a uh, half tide. Uh, not done fantastic, but uh, I have caught fish. Got, uh, three flounder and three wee codlin, so that's not too bad. At least we've got something. <laughs> Uh, but uh, it's turned out nice again. Uh, it's calm, clouds are disappearing, clear sky, and it's not—it's not not that cold actually. 
well, unless it's because I've got my suit on. I don't feel it. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, as I say, it, it has been slow, and there is uh, a fair bit of weed in there. Uh, some of that tight grip and stuff that gets all around your line. That's horrendous. But, uh, not to worry, still another what, about three hours to go. So we'll keep at it. It'll soon be morning. Mm, got a breakfast trophy from, from somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sounds good. Bing roll, I would love one of them just now, actually. <laughs> Nowhere to phone at this time in the morning, no? Uh, yeah, well, time to start bringing my cooker with me, I think. <laughs> Right, we'll get back and see if we can bring out some more fish. Here we go. Another little codling. That looks in pretty bad shape, actually. Yeah. Looks like it's been attacked by something. But I don't know. I don't know what. Right. There we have it. It's uh, high tide now. That's uh, six o'clock in the morning. Ugh. I could do with a good coffee, that's what I could do with. <laughs> oh. But uh, it's been been a long night, been a pretty quiet night actually. Uh, four cod, three flounder, that's been it. I uh, had not had a lot of bother with crabs. The, uh, the baits, baits have been getting ripped to shreds, so at least that's one good thing. Proves there's no lot out there at night. Uh, but you can't have everything. So that's high tide. I'll fish. I'll fish for about another hour, maybe hour and a half, and then call it a day. Get home and get something to eat in bed. I'm, I can do with my bed. But uh, yeah. I caught a hair. I caught a hair earlier on. I it got itself wrapped around one of my lines, and I was pulling the line, and I thought, if I pull this, I'm going to pull the hooks into it. I thought the easiest solution was just to cut the line, hoping that it would fly up, fly away, and get off of the line, which it did. So, so I lost a trace due to a hair, but uh, you can't have everything. And it flew away happy enough, so that's that. And so, as I say, I'll keep at it for about an hour, hour and a half, and then see what happens, call it a day after that. Well, by the time I come back, it, the gear will be getting swept down anyway. <laughs> Didn't want to get a wrap around the V&A and whatnot. <laughs> so... Let's get back to it, see if we can catch any more little fishies. That's, uh, that's seven o'clock and I've had enough. I've not had any more fish, I've not had any more bites. And I've got a bird's nest on one of my rods, as, on one of my reels as well. Belter. I've not been able to take it out, I've just had to wind on top, so once I get it home I'll hit strip it all down. Let's see if I can fix it out. 
but uh, ah, well, at least it was out. Yeah, it's the first time in a wee while. It must be about a month or more. Ah, and at least they caught fish as well, so that's that's not too bad. Four wee codling, yeah, we. And this camera's sitting at an angle. Yeah, it's not just the street. <laughs> That'd be good for viewing. Yeah, I'm going for a little edge. Hey, yeah, four wee codling, three three smallish flounders, and a heron. And that's been about it. I'm afraid. Hey. At least it stayed dry. It was raining at the start. I thought we were going to get the rain. I thought we were going to have the rain all night, but uh, no, that went off. It stayed dry and the wind died down as well, actually. Dead calm at the moment. But apparently there's rain coming up for the south, so that's something to look forward to, I suppose. I'll be sleeping by the time that gets up here. <laughs> so. Until next time, hope you enjoyed the video, in tight lines. <laughs>